recognise that there's a lot of social harm to deal with that. We have to go right back into people's lives. We have to be able to use the social investment model, which is us as a country deciding do we invest in people's lives, do we invest much earlier, do we stay with them much longer to try and break that intergenerational harm and get them on a track where they can realise the great opportunities that our country has to offer. What will your specific strategy be? There is a Māori strategy of human rights and high value laws in place at the moment. What will your strategy be to address well, the high rates of Māori telling Minister to reinforce and, and continue to develop my own personal relationships with um, Iwi and Iwi leadership and Afri leadership in terms of the engagement that they want to have in our corrections system to rehabilitate and reintegrate prisoners, Maori prisoners as they come out of the corrections system. I've got a very big focus on trades training and giving them real life skills so that when they leave prison they've got a much better chance of going into some meaningful employment where they're getting pretty well. I heard him say that he's got some self esteem, he feels valued and that's exactly the pathway that I'm going down in terms of what we're delivering. And can you, I mean, the whole kind of new strategy talks about trying to reduce the rate of Māori in prison reform rates and the like to be of a similar rate to that of non Māori and the non Māori population. So, 37% of people proceed against by police, 45% of people convicted, and 52% of people in prison are Māori. Can you commit to decreasing those rates by the end of this political term? And if so, what will that number be? Well, we want to decrease all rates. We want to decrease that social harm, the victimisations, we want to reduce the, the serious violent uh, retail crime that we see. Yeah. We want to start to dismantle the gangs and suppress the gangs, especially those gang members with families, mm -hmm. trying to get them out of the gangs, rehabilitated and back in the okay. human society. But the fact is this, the police and the preachers do not get to choose who is out there offending and causing the harm. They've got no control over that. They have to respond and they have to deal with it. And so we go right back to what I was saying originally. We need to use that social protection for all the people that are in the secret areas. I understand that. Keep them on a personal path for you instead of coming into our criminal justice system. I, I understand that, but this government is a government looking for outcomes, right? And their outcome would be a number by which it will commit to decrease the rates of Māori in prison, and in particular the high rate of 2% of Māori who are in prison. So what, what will you commit to? What's the target? What will the figure be by the end of this program? So we are, so we are developing targets, and at the moment we're going through work in the justice system to develop some targets that we want to set because we do feel that actually the public service needs to have targets. We need to set targets with the government so that we can actually measure our success and, and what we're actually achieving. But the best way to stop that pipeline of people coming out of the criminal justice system is that social investment model that's found right back in our lives and seeing so where we're going to come from the very great place for investment as a country yeah. to stop them coming into the criminal justice system in the beginning. The Hapaitia Te Oro Natrunga Tasei Benefit of Justice